he says. Elliot Kipchoge has the hand of history on his shoulder. Elliot Kipchoge storms into the history books in Vienna. that we make here are used by other industries to feed into their processes that make a wide array of household goods that as a consumer you may not always be aware contain products that might be made on this site. Key application uses would be in the textiles industry. Food to flavourings, medicines, inks, dyes and even solar panels. Food packaging, making a product uh, impermeable to oxygen so food lasts longer in effect. We sell products into the automotive industry. We produce advanced polymers. Many of these are used in cars to make them more efficient and more economic. You can find phenol and acetone in many different products, from blue jeans to the adhesive used by surgeons in knee and hip replacements. 98% of the drinking water we have here in Britain is purified using chlorine that we make here at the Ineos Run Corn site. You can look around, uh, you can see there is climate change. You also can look at the data and the facts uh, that this is caused by greenhouse gases. It's a huge challenge, I think probably one of the largest that the world has, has faced. It's real and it's here. So sustainability to me actually means that we have to fix the planet. It's difficult not to worry, is it? And, and, and you want to make sure that what we do doesn't continue contributing to that. And if we're going to do that, we're going to have to do it more sustainably going forward than, than the world has done previously. To tackle climate change is impossible without chemical industry because we are providing the basic building blocks who will provide the solutions for the future. To give you one example, a windmill is impossible without the polymers we produce. We run energy intensive industries. What we need to do is we need to keep running them, but in a sustainable way. So whilst we're leaders in the low carbon production, sometimes an often forgotten aspect is actually in the application and end use of our products to enable the wider energy transition. And so two great examples of that would be the use of our acetic acid to make ethyl vinyl acetate and is absolutely critical in the manufacture of solar panels, which obviously is all about the wider energy transition. Another example is our acetic anhydride. And actually quite an exciting area of growth is through sustainable wood acetylation, which is all about a more sustainable, durable construction material not only locks up carbon for 70 plus years, but it displaces higher emission, less sustainable construction materials that are more conventional. INEOS is the largest renewable power buyer in Belgium to supply our sites with wind energy coming from the wind farms in the North Sea. And that's quite exciting because it's the first one in Belgium. And another example is our focus on hydrogen. We think hydrogen has a major role to play in the energy transition as a means to replace combustion of fossil fuels today. We are looking at uh, replacing some of uh, the fossil-based raw materials into what is called bio-based materials. There's no doubt that bio-based products will be an important part of this transition, but I still think that the ultimate solution is recycling the product that's out there. Now we have evolved our packaging to protect and preserve the content. So this PET contains light barrier technology that prevents the, the milk from spoiling. However, when this was designed, it created a great functionality, but it didn't take into account the uh, end of life. So it ends up with the color bottles and then it pollutes that stream. Our goal is to take things that are otherwise waste and bring them back to make a, a truly circular economy. So Infini is a, a process of depolymerization and we can separate all of the impurities and colorants and dyes and then we can build it back together to make a, a brand new polymer. So it'd be like a, taking a cake and breaking it down to its ingredients like the flour and the eggs and then being able to 
take those raw ingredients and build it back together. And so uh, we've built a pilot plant, which we're going to be using to test out this technology. I firmly believe this can take us closer to a circular economy. When deployed at scale and in multiple sites, this has the potential of diverting billions of PET trays and PET bottles from landfill and incineration. Thinking about our future is fundamental to INEOS. It's in our DNA. Health and well-being are at the heart of what we stand for. We're hugely passionate about this, both within our workforce and beyond. And one example of this is the Daily Mile, promoting health and well-being for the next generation. As a head teacher, I was concerned about our children's lack of fitness, so we decided to do something about it. We got the children to run or jog for 15 minutes a day and called it the Daily Mile. And you know what? The children loved it. Attention and behaviour improved and the parents said their children were fitter than ever. And now thousands of schools around the world take part. At the beginning of the pandemic, we were able to leverage our expertise and deliver hand sanitizer where it was most needed throughout Europe and the US. The business was born out of necessity. We ended up giving away four million bottles of sanitizer to the NHS and uh, frontline doctors and nurses. It's absolutely fantastic that British manufacturers have stepped up and we're in this together. Recently, INEOS has been working with some of the world's brightest minds based at Oxford University, tackling another impending global health crisis, the growing resistance to antibiotics. The antimicrobial resistance is one of these um, hidden dangers for the human race. I don't think it's widely recognised yet. One of the exciting parts of this collaboration with a very successful business is that we hope that they will help us translate this primary research. It will establish Oxford as a leader in antimicrobial resistance.